All right, Tim, I couldn't get you on FaceTime, so rapid fire. Here is the bedroom they're gonna need to do. You're gonna need a new roof. Windows, if you can seal them a little bit, like you have to, I would keep them. Uh, a lot of this house has a lot of charm, so I wouldn't change a lot. Like, like that window has gotta be replaced. You gotta add, I mean, either put in a surround or something like that, or you gotta add a shower, because these kids aren't gonna take baths. But uh, it's got some, some work. Um, the, you're gonna have two bedrooms up here. I would add, I mean, you're gonna have to frame, you know, it's already framed out, but uh, the windows could be replaced. The back ones I think can be vinyl. I don't think the front ones can because of the HOA. This is just, I would just throw a fridge and a stove in here uh, just because, I mean, it's a huge house. So you've got two bedrooms there and you have two bedrooms here. So we're at four up. I mean, you're gonna just do some aesthetic stuff. To, but some of the charm is just, you know, like I don't think I would redo that. I think that looks good. Uh, but you're gonna re redo the windows. Um, all right, so that's four bedrooms up. And then uh, you're, you're gonna put in a kitchen in it, sort of, just so they have a little bit of space. Um, you know, could always redo the windows. You've got, bathroom i think you need to either take this out and sell this and then put in a shower maybe and you got the toilet is actually over here which is probably kind of nice for this amount of bedrooms toilet it's it's kind of dark uh <coughs> i think that door just goes outside um, i mean there's just a ton of charm like that's pretty cool right uh, okay so hardwoods could be refinished this is a bedroom uh but it's really dark because it's full of crap um, so new windows in here, uh, but that's bedroom one or one on this floor. Bedroom two probably need to replace the windows in the front with wood windows. I mean, there's a lot of like space like this. You could. You know, it has a ton of charm. Like, this is super cool. Uh, another room. You know, pretty big. Has a crossover to this room, so I don't know. So that's two. Oh no, sorry, one, two, three. And then this room's cool. Uh, four, you've got laundry in this, this guy here. Uh, and then this like sunroom, which is pretty cool. I mean, you could replace the windows, it would look a lot better, but it's student housing too, I don't know. You, you, you pick and choose. Um, so it's three here, four up, so you're at seven. Or wait, one, two, three, four. So four here, th four up, so we're at eight. And then we think you can get one more bedroom down here. Uh, I'll show you the area. So I make this guy into a bedroom. So you have one on the main floor. And that puts you at nine bedrooms. And then this becomes a walk-in closet. <laughs> Unless you wanna make, a, a, you're gonna have the kitchenette upstairs and then you're, you still have the kitchen. Um, and then this, this is the communal space. So you've got that, I mean, it's pretty big. I think, I think like a lot of this stuff is charming. So I don't know how much I would screw with it. Could you redo the windows in there if you wanted. Um, like I would fix the ceiling, but I don't know if I'd do anything else. They said for a full rehab, it'd be about 300 K, but I don't think we're flipping this. You know, we're just getting this nice enough to have some charm and get some grad suits in here. Here's another full bath. I think you've got to make that into a shower bath, uh, new vanity, new windows, potentially. Um, and here's the kitchen. I would get it cleaned. I would, you know, new windows, but I think there's a lot of charm. I mean, he's got a gas range, stainless steel. It's not bad. Uh, still would need to do some stuff there. Um, I haven't been in the basement, but I'm guessing you're not going to be able to see anything. Uh, yeah, it's going to be too dark. I'll make sure he bids that out for you. All right, see ya.